everyone, my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel. Today, in honor of the fall season, which is one of my favorite seasons because of the colors, not because of the temperature, but because of the food and the colors, I am doing the fall time cozy time book tag. I will leave the link to the original video and creator down below if you guys want to check that out. And let's get started with this tag. Question number one says, Crunching leaves. The world is full of color. Choose a book that has reds, yellows, and oranges on it. So I was looking through different book covers that I have read. I chose one that didn't have as much but had all three colors in it. it this is just one of my favorite covers and I guess that played in the part why I decided to choose it. And that book is Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is the half book in the Lunar Chronicle series. One of the best books in the series might I add. I have I don't think I have ever said that for a like 0.5 book ever but this book was so good and I love the cover so so much. Question number two says cozy sweater it's finally cold enough to wear warm cozy clothing what book gives you the warm fuzzy? I feel like I've answered this question before in a different form with the same book. I would say that a book that gives me warm fuzzies would be A Court and Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I feel that there's different reasons why. I would say that not only does it give you fuzzies because of the romance, the situations, and information you end up learning about, about characters. It's just such a good book and it's my favorite book in the entire series and probably will always be my favorite book. I can always depend upon that book giving me the warm fuzzies even though I have read it so many times. The next question says, Fall Storm. The wind is howling and the rain is pounding. Choose your favorite book or genre to read on a stormy day. At first I was gonna say a genre because I felt that that was the easier response for me, but I've realized that the fall season gets me in this kind of mood and I think it's ever since I found out about Outlander in the show because once it started getting like cold and rainy out, even though it was still summer, all of a sudden I was just like in this Outlander mode to like rewatch the show, which I did start rewatching the show since season four is coming out in November. For some reason, just that cold, rainy type of day, just fall in general, just really gets me in that mood. As you can already tell, the book I'm gonna choose, and that book is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Any of you have read this book or seen this show, you will completely understand. The vibes of the show and book are just perfect for fall. I've never been to Scotland, but I guess it's a tendency to be kind of like that. And as I've said millions and millions of times, if you like historical fiction, romance, it's adult book. It's not YA, because usually I read a lot of YA books. There is time traveling involved. There is so much to this book and you will learn so much history that you probably never heard of or at least I never did. That's my little sales pitch right there but yeah this book definitely is perfect for a stormy day. The fourth question says cool crisp air. What cool character would you want to trade places with? Now I went through all the books I have ever read and I thought right away that I would be able to find a character that I would love to swap places with. I thought of each character in the books and I thought you know what I feel like I would never want to trade any places with any of the characters because all the books I've read, I feel like something huge and horrible or traumatic happens. So I really couldn't find a character that I would want to swap places with. Question number five says, Hot Apple Cider. What is an underhyped book that you want to see be the next hottest, biggest thing in the world? I, I don't like when things are overhyped and because I feel like you hear the loudest voices and I feel like a lot of times I have been very disappointed with overhyped books. I try to kind of put blinders on 
when it comes to books sometimes because, because of that reason. Even though I am a fan of some of the more hyped books though, but I was a fan of those book series before they were hyped. One book that I have been pretty loyal to for a long time that you guys probably followed my channel since the beginning, you probably know what book I will say. This book does have a following, but it is not at the same level as, let's say, Sarah J Mass books. But I feel that this book series and this author should be more recognized because his work is so amazing. He puts so much effort into it and he has delayed the release date of his book because he wasn't happy with it, which I personally really, really appreciate. And it makes me like him as an author even more. And the book I am talking about, or series, is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. There are three books in this series so far. The fourth one is coming out next year, I believe. And this book is so complex. I feel like it deserves so much more attention than other book series that I have come across that was just disappointing for me. But of course that's my own opinion. But I feel that this book series and author need to have some more recognition. Question number six says, Coats, scarves, mittens, the weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What's the most amazing book cover that you own that you want to keep hidden from the public? I don't really have that many books. <laughs> so I can't really show you any books really. But one book that has always stood out to me that I really like the cover of is The Language of Thorns by Leah Bardigo. It has always kind of stood out to me. I really like fantasy with the thorns and the fox and the animals. It's very like bedtime story almost, kind of. It's just one that has always stuck out to me. Question number seven says, Pumpkin spice, what is your favorite food in the fall time? I was thinking about this because I've realized that food that is more common during the fall time, I eat it basically year round. So I guess it's not too special. I mean, it's still something I really love. Some food that I really enjoy during the fall is I really enjoy chai and like pumpkin pie or just anything with cinnamon and nutmeg in it or like ginger. Those kinds of things I really like making in the fall or like eating. But yeah, the majority of things I think I enjoy are mostly drinks. Kind of like the whole little, a little spice to stuff. And the last question says, warm cozy bonfire, spread the warmth. Who are you going to tag? So I decided to tag four different booktubers for this book tag. And those people are A Beautiful Chaos of Books, Bookish Drama, Gloria Thomas, and Rachel Marie Book Junkie. I hope none of you have done this book tag yet. And if you do end up doing this book tag, I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what book or genre you guys like to read in the fall or what are your favorite fall foods. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down below and if you want to subscribe to my channel, just hover on my face and hit subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!